फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट नेक्स्ट जनरेशन फायरवॉल एंड आईपीएस फायरवॉल इज अ डिवाइस दैट प्रोवाइड्स सिक्योरिटी टू आर एनवायरनमेंट द नेटवर्क एनवायरनमेंट इट इज एज गुड एज सिक्योरिटी गार्ड इन आर सोसाइटी वी ऑलवेज नीड प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम अटैकर्स हु ट्राई टू इंट्रूड इन टू आर होम्स और ट्राई टू क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम फॉर अस सो इन द नेटवर्क एज वेल वी नीड प्रोटेक्शन सो दैट इज वाई वी हैव दिस फायरवॉल IPS is intrusion prevention system so i'll give you some information about these things so in the diagram you can see that i have deployed one IPS and this is the next generation firewall which i want to talk about this is the diagram of a small office this is customer edge router let's say that this is my office on right side and this is the router which is at my office because i'm a customer it will be known as customer edge and this is the ISP where my lease line is connected I know that most of my traffic will go via this ISP router. Ninety percent of the attacks happen from internet because internet is the most uh, unsecure environment wherein we do not have control. There is no boundary. This is the link which carries the internet traffic. So I need to have a security appliance at perimeter. That is at this place. So in this diagram, I have positioned IPS, but I can also keep my next gen firewall. which i will talk about before i cover this next gen firewall and ips i would like to tell you some of the security appliances that we frequently use in our network apart from these two i list all of those first one is firewall second one is ids intrusion detection system then there is ips which i will be covering then there is h ips which is type of ips then there is antivirus which you have heard it's a application or a software then there are spam filters so once you open your gmail or yahoo mail you will find a icon name spam so what happens many attackers try to create unsolicited emails by embedding fake links the links which capture your important information like your password your bank accounts so they try to get those information so what these companies do i mean the mail gateways they deploy spam filters so that these kind of emails are caught and the users are protected from fraudland activity so this is kind of a security method which is very important and this antivirus you must have understood it is a software that we install on our servers or applications or on our workstations because uh, hackers try to create files with malicious codes fake signatures fake hashing algorithms the purpose of those file is to enter in your operating system and delete the root files that is the kernel files then what they will do they'll capture your important passwords information and probably encrypt those so that you pay ransom to them or money to them to unlock those things so antivirus softwares are very much important we must update these softwares regularly i'll cover this ips and firewall here but let me also give you the information about ids see ids is very much similar to ips in fact ips is an advanced form of ids so ips is like ids plus the policy so let me write everything about this ids ids is basically used for detection what does it detect first one is it detects the brute force attack that happens in your environment IPS also does the same thing but IPS also prevents it IDS doesn't prevent but the detection part will be common in both then IDS detects denial of service attack it detects the vulnerabilities because these vulnerabilities try to exploit your environment so it's basically a weakness or a known problem in the software attackers will always try to use those methods to enter in your network so it will detect these kind of exploits it also detects the attacks against your applications and workstations or servers it detects the malicious traffic 
it simply identifies the fake signatures of certain traffic because there are many applications that are used by the attackers which carry the fake signatures fake signatures or weak ciphers so this is the detection part so if you have ips in place then ips will be able to block these ips will block those ips which are generating these kind of attacks it also has the ability to inform the uh, security administration team about this attack in fact ids also informs but ids does not take any action so ips will inform and it will also block these kind of attacks for prevention it doesn't wait it will also inform the firewall that the rule should be in place so that this kind of attack can be avoided in future means auto rules can be created in the firewalls as well ips does detection and prevention so this is role of ips now there was this hips as well so hips is a kind of software that we install on laptops or office workstations you must have seen that there is a hips installed that also does the same thing so ips is an appliance like in this case it reads all of the traffic that is entering into the lan then it will detect it identifies and it will block so hips will be installed on these workstations or these servers so once you work in top organizations you'll find that hips is very much used now i'll talk about this next gen firewall see this ips functionality is part of next generation firewalls but let me tell you what does firewall do the basic role of firewall is to do packet filtering okay so it will use the source ip or destination ip or source port or destination port or all actually what happens administrator can choose to block some kind of traffic like if admin doesn't want users of the company to use internet it can block the traffic originating from any source towards any uh, destination over port 443 because this is the port number which is used for HTTPS mainly used by the internet sites or he can also add port number 80 these are TCP ports you will learn about these ports at later stage you can say that I don't want this user 10.1.1 .1. I know this is a private IP just for understanding purposes you can choose to block access from this IP towards the IP 8888 over port 53 UDP so this kind of packet filtering can be used so these are known as rules policies this is the main job the basic job even a router can do it as well but this is mainly done using firewall because firewall can also do stateful packet inspection i'll mention it here stateful packet inspection what is stateful actually using the stateful technology firewall is able to track the complete state of connection Let's assume that this firewall is being used instead of this IPS and this workstation having the IP this, it tries to access this server 19.1.55.2 which is there over internet. The traffic goes like this. So using this stateful firewall, it will track the complete state. It will make sure that the traffic which is originated from inside of the network towards the destination, the reply comes from this destination only. Actually, in past when this technology was never in place, what used to happen? If the session was originated from this workstation towards one particular IP, then the reply used to come from different server. Attackers use these kind of uh, tactics to change the packet or uh, the pattern of traffic. Like this one is accessing this particular server and while this server has to respond, if other server responds instead of this one, then it will be a security lapse. Okay, It is as good as you are talking to someone and someone else replies, then it means that somebody else has been disguised. The next in firewall will also have all of the functionality of the IPS. Means whatever IPS does, like the detection of attacks, malicious traffic, fake signature, traffic with the wrong ciphers, wrong hash algorithm, 
what happens ips carries a database which has long list of attacks and the histories patterns behaviors signatures so it tries to match each packet against those so if it observes some kind of abnormality or vulnerability then it immediately informs and blocks it next generation firewall will have ips as well apart from it the next gen firewall will have the ability of enforcing the security protocols and deny the use of weak and insecure protocols which are using weak ciphers it checks the application as well so if there are any applications which have reported vulnerabilities in past using weak ciphers then it will enforce some protocols to make sure that security is not breached so right now i have just given you high level information because this is a ccna based course i don't want to go into detail of these topics okay just as a recap ips is used for detection and prevention it blocks the traffic whenever there is suspicious activity and the next gen firewall it does packet filtering stateful firewall ips uh, the inbuilt feature and apart from it it does lot of study about the applications it has lot of idea about the complete network complete visibility it tries to prevent all of the possible attacks the next gen firewall let me highlight some of the points that it covers first thing is it does quick detection of attacks and its prevention it is very efficient in doing url filtering so you can do white listing and black listing of urls it has the ability of threat intelligence so it is not possible to have 100% protection but your firewall should be capable especially the next gen firewall should be capable to identify the threat and inform we understand that it can't prevent all of the threats but it should be able to identify those and inform to security operation engineer or the team which is responsible for maintaining the security so it was just a small effort from my side to give you the information so friends uh, do give me appropriate rating and feedback i hope it's been informative to you thank you so much